this was the elusive uh, third straight win for you guys. Um, is this just like easily the best rhythm you guys have been in this season, would you say? Yeah, I mean, I thought tonight was a great win given the circumstances of the schedule. This is really a tough, tough game to come back from that, uh, you know, four game trip back to back on the East Coast and then fly back and uh, and get right back out here tonight. Um, very difficult circumstances. So I'm proud of the guys for uh, for getting getting the win. And I, I kind of like the fact that nobody in the locker room was really that happy with the way we played. You know, we had some good moments and, and some good individual performances, but uh, it was a wild game. It was a, an awkward game. And, um, you know, the locker room's quiet. Uh, that's a good sign. We've won three in a row and nobody's that happy. So um, we know we can play better. And, and uh, it's a sign that, uh, you know, we think there's more to come. Your next six are against West contenders, really. Um, you know, considering you guys are kind of in a nice rhythm, are you wanting to see what you can do against really the conference's elite? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's a much better time to play those teams than if we were struggling, you know. So um, I, I like I like where we are. I think we've uh, we've we've found um, found a rhythm, found a groove. Uh, we, we're starting to build an identity, you know, in terms of being a defensive team and, um, you know, leading the league in assists. So the ball movement is there. A lot of good things are happening. Um, and the good news is we can still get a lot better. Coach, how, um, how satisfied were you with the pace of the game that you guys played today? Well, it was the pace we expected. You know, we like to play fast and, um, Charlotte is playing faster and faster, you know, as LaMelo uh, plays more and, and kind of takes over that team. So pretty much what we expected. It was uncomfortable at times because it was so wild. Um, but they, they made us uncomfortable with their pressure. So I give them a lot of credit. Kelly, James Hill, with Black News Channel. Is this ball club gelling or what would you say? It looks like you guys are coming together. Oh, we're getting there. Um we're getting there for sure. We're coming together. Um, each and every day is an opportunity for us to grow closer. Um, each and every game is an opportunity for us to, you know, just gel and, you know, just figure out, you know, a little, little bit more about each other. Um, but I definitely think we're battle tested. You know, we were thrown into the fire early on in the season, and I think that helped us a lot. Kelly, you take a lot of pride in defense. What's it like when you see this defense clicking, totally locked in, and what it does to other teams? Um, Coach Kerr has been um, harping on that since day one. Um, we have we have the size, we have the length, we have the athleticism to be a great defensive team. And, you know, we have to just do that for 48 minutes for, you know, each and every game that we play because that's the formula, defense to offense. Um, if we're playing in transition, everybody can thrive, you know, and, you know, I think that's the key. But is it realistic to play that intense level for 48 minutes? <laughs> That's a lot to ask. No, it's not. But, I mean, the game's about the flows. Um, you know, we can bounce back whenever we make a couple mistakes. Um, I think that's the mark of a great team. Whoever can, uh, you know, refocus whenever the game kind of goes awry. Hey, Kelly. William Hammonds here, Sports Fans Rap. The coach said it was it was quiet going into the locker room tonight. What, what was kind of going through your mind as compared to the last time you played these guys? We owed them. They beat us. Uh, T-Row hit a really tough shot um, to end the game. Um, there was a lot of controversy to end that game as well. So, you know, we just knew that we had to have a different level of focus to come out and beat them. So why so quiet tonight? We got the win, didn't we? Yeah. It worked. I thought you'd be happy and, you know, making some noise. Oh, uh, that was, you said before the game. No, uh -uh, post-game. You said going into the locker room oh, it was quiet. Okay, I, I misread it. I apologize. Um, I just think that, you know, it's, what, game 35, 34? Um, you know, it's just, you know, we have to just remain humble. You know, we have to remain humble. We have a lot more games to play. We definitely aren't taking it for granted that it took us 34 games to get a three-game winning streak. So I think that we just got to, you know, stay locked in. James, have you been able to, to see what's behind the team's improved defense over the course of the season? Early on, there were some issues, but obviously you guys are top five now. What do you think is, what are you seeing out there that's got you guys to this point? 
Oh, really? Just working hard, just having that chemistry strong, just like simultaneously just working hard on the offensive end and our defense and our defensive ends, making sure that we just have leadership, make sure we encourage each other if anyone is down and just like, you know, just sticking together um, as one unit. So just going out there and playing as a team. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say a revenge game. Um, you know, a revenge game would be a bit of a stretch. I would say it's, uh, you know, just me coming out and making it right. You know, uh, trying to do whatever I can to help this team get a win, and you know, can't can't just forget about you know what happened last week. So I wouldn't call it a revenge game. What does a new career high in assists mean to you? Uh, I mean, my teammates are playing well, and it means we're getting better. Um, you know, I think you know earlier on in the year there was a lot of things that I wouldn't see that you know that I would see that other guys weren't seeing, you know, but with the repetition, with the time together, you know, guys are starting to see that Kelly Oubre has been fantastic cutting off the ball, her wigs. Obviously, you know, I can always find Steph somewhere, um, you know, wise coming and putting that pressure on the rim. So uh, it just means my teammates are playing well. This is the first time you guys won three in a row. Um, or do you feel like you're kind of generating a little wave of momentum? Uh, definitely. Um, you know, you can feel the confidence growing. Uh, you know, you can feel, you know, when we step out there on the floor, you can just, you can, you just feel better about it. You know, going into the game, uh, you know, everybody's better uh, understanding the game plan better and executing the game plan better. So, you know, I definitely think we're starting to build some momentum. Uh, you know, we got to continue to do that. You said that. James Hill with Black News Channel. Uh, would you say you guys are gelling right now? Uh, I think we got a long ways to go and a, a lot of room for growth. Um, <clears throat> like I said before, I just think we're, you know, we're starting to figure it out. You know, we're starting to learn how to play off off of each other, play to the next guy's strengths. And, you know, we're using each other to get it done. You know, in the first 10 games or so of the season, there was a lot of all of us trying to get it done ourselves. You know, we're learning how to use each other and, you know, it's, it's – Making our team a lot better. You've described this game as sort of as wild. Um, do you think that this style of game kind of plays to your guys' strengths at this point? Oh, it was definitely super wild. Um, you know, does I mean I think we can definitely play that style style, but we also can't turn the ball over twenty five times either. You know, so you know, there's a balance. Uh, you know, we got to find that balance. Um, and saying that, you know, coming off a long road trip and, you know, coming back home is that game is always tough. You know, we got the win. So, uh, you know, not going to feel bad about getting a win. But, you know, there are some things that we can clean up and we know that. Steve said the locker room was quiet after this game, even though you guys won your third consecutive game. It's like nobody was happy because he said you guys could see the ways that you could play better. So what are the elements that could take – a good team to a great team. Uh, taking care of the ball, transition defense are two of the most important things in the NBA. Uh, and we didn't do either one of them well tonight. And so, you know, I think if we can shore up those things, which we can, you know, we play without turning the ball over. We've played great transition defense. We can. But like I said, I mean, you can kind of see from the very beginning, we were a little off. I had like started with a crazy pass and a turnover and stuff started with a crazy, like a crazy turnover. And like, that's how it is coming back from a long road trip. Not, uh, you know, and saying that, you know, we, we found our way, you know, we're able to build a lead and, and hold on to it. So, uh, I, you know, I didn't expect to walk in there and everybody be like going crazy that we won three in a row, you know, um, but we all feel like we can get better, and we also didn't close that game out great, you know. So, you know, next game, keep moving. Uh, one win, keep trying to get better. Draymond, the second unit has had some rough moments this year. What do you do to try and get those guys to where they need to be? I mean, what what are the keys to those guys getting what you need, what, uh, giving you what you need? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I think, you know, there are also times where they play very well. Uh, this year, you know, and especially the start of the season, they were kind of the ones that was keeping us afloat, you know, so I think it's all about finding the right combination, you know, Wise is in that group now a bit, you know, so just kind of finding the right combinations and 
And not necessarily that that combination isn't great, but them getting familiar with playing with each other. Wise been back now for what, two games, three games or so. Um, you know, so they'll get more accustomed to playing with each other and they'll be better. Uh, but we got faith in that group that they'll be fine.